One of the main questions I get from guys a lot is, Zach, as a bigger guy, how is it that you're able to find nice looking clothes and put together such amazing outfits? And I'm here to tell you, as a bigger guy, it is not as hard as society makes it out to be. So today's video, I'm gonna be giving you some style tips that I have used over the years that have helped me build up my style despite being a bigger guy with no limitations. But what's up you guys, welcome back to HB Fashion. If you're new here, my name is Zach Fobbs. In today's video, we're going over eight style tips that are for my bigger guys that are out there. Before we get started with today's video, if you're into fashion advice, grooming advice, hair advice, lifestyle advice, anything that you think you can use to help you become the better version of yourself in today's world, be sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the HB community and help us grow the YouTube family. We are growing in numbers every single day, which I am extremely grateful for. Thank you guys so much for your continued support and be sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram as well. They're both at Mr. HB Fashion. I'll have them both linked in the description below for you guys to go check out. But enough with the self promo. Let's go and get started with today's video with the first piece of advice that I would give to any guy, no matter what size you are, fit is king. I've said this once and I'll say it again a thousand times over. Fit is extremely important. Most bigger guys would think that they need to buy oversized clothing just to hide any imperfections that they may or may not have. And I'm here to tell you that does the complete opposite of what you're going for. In fact, it magnifies what you're trying to hide. Just wearing completely oversized clothes does in fact make you look a little more huskier and in fact a little bit shorter than what you actually are, which is something we do not want for you. Instead, what you should be doing is just taking the time when you're out shopping or when you're out online, you're buying clothes and you're actually trying on the clothes that you actually want to wear. There's nothing wrong with a bigger guy wearing a slim fitting pair of jeans. Break that stigma right now. At the very start, all of this is a bunch of trial and error and trial and error. What, if that size doesn't work, then maybe another size possibly will. There is nothing wrong with just trying out different sizes just to make sure that whatever it is you're looking for fits you perfectly. And if you want that super perfect fit and make sure to where you're hiding all your imperfections, but at the same time, you're magnifying all your positive attributes, then make sure that you do buy your clothes just a little bit oversized, not by much, but just a little bit, and go get them tailored. Go Go see a tailor, spend the extra 10 to $15, get your jeans hemmed, and spend the extra few extra bucks just to make sure that you get your shirt to that nice tailored fit, and I guarantee you, your clothes are gonna be looking 100% better on you. The second thing that you should do is to explore different patterns and textures with your outfits. Now, I'm not saying go completely overboard with this because doing too bold of patterns and different textures just all over the place can really throw off the outfit. Instead, when done correctly, exploring different patterns is a great way to expand your bubble a bit, help you step out of your comfort zone, try some different designs and colors that you have never tried before. And what this does for you is create some visual barriers. It's a great way to kind of make people notice, hey, that's a great looking design of the floral shirt that he's wearing, and I'm not really noticing anything else. Now, no one's really thinking that like at face value, but you get my point. The third thing that you can do is to start wearing darker colors. When you wear darker colors, it does in fact slim you out and give you a more of a tailored look. And I know you hear all the time that black is the way to go, but I don't want you guys to going out, especially during this upcoming spring and summer seasons, just wearing all black while you're outside. That's one, gonna be killer for you. And number two, that's just pretty boring. So I would explore different colors just to make sure that you do have that variety in your, over, in your wardrobe. So I would go for some navy blue, maroon, deep forest green, the list can go on and on. And if you haven't tried any monochromatic looks, I highly recommend that you do try to explore that because it does kind of give you a very basic silhouette and again, slims you out and makes you look amazing. The next one is actually my personal favorite and that's having some lightweight layering. Adding layers to your outfit adds so much depth and details to your overall look and it just kind of helps you better hide your negative attributes. In my opinion, that's the best way to do it. And I know it's getting warmer outside so you don't want to be wearing a super heavy jacket but go for something a little bit more lightweight. It's something like a denim jacket, bomber jacket, or a shirt jacket which is just a heavier shirt just in the form of a jacket. This next one is really important, so make sure that you are paying attention. Know which brands to shop for. Certain brands are not gonna be as accommodating towards bigger guys. Just to name a few, no hate towards them, but I'm just letting you guys know. Stores like Hollister, Abercrombie & Fitch, 
H&M, these stores, they don't typically carry a lot of bigger sizes, anything past a size 36 in their stores. And I know typically, at least for me, I at least shop for a 38 or 40, just being brutally honest with you. But knowing which brands to shop for is something that's gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of energy, and personally, a lot of self-embarrassment just when, when you're shopping for clothes. And of course, I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging and give you guys some brands that I personally trust for my own wardrobe. That's gonna be Target, Old Navy, Gap, Banana Republic, Levi's, ASOS, the list can go on and on, but those are some just to name a few. Now keep in mind, sometimes in store, in person, they're not gonna have the exact size that you're looking for, but it is better to try what they have in store, just the bigger sizes that they have, just to see like a point of reference, just to see where you're at. And if they don't have the size that you need, you can always go online and try there. Typically, you can find your size and it might be cheaper. One great way to help you fill out any outfit that you have on is to make sure that your posture is in check. If you have on just the most expensive brands and the highest quality clothes and your posture is poor, that's not gonna really help you and is in fact gonna help magnify a lot of your negative attributes, which again, we don't want. So what you're gonna do just all throughout the day, just make sure that you're in check. Just make sure that you're sitting up straight, shoulders are back, chest is out, just subtlety is key here. You don't wanna be walking around looking like a robot and your head is held high and you're walking with a sense of purpose. You're not dragging your feet anywhere and when you're sitting down, you're checking yourself as well. You're not slouching, you know, we have our phones on us 24 seven. So just make sure that you're just looking a little bit more straight. You're not just slunched over and just creating an arch in your back just all throughout the days that you're just using your phone. Just make sure that you are just checking yourself all throughout the day and I guarantee you, your clothes are gonna start fitting you a lot better. If it's one thing I want you to take away from this video is to make sure that you are not listening to any bad advice. A lot of the times when we as bigger guys try to improve on our style game, a lot of guys out there will tell us what to wear and what not to wear when then themselves don't technically consider themselves as bigger guys. In fact, their waist size probably doesn't even span past anything past the 32 just being brutally honest with you guys. And what they'll tell you a lot of the times, that's where you'll get the oh, wear oversized this, wear this, don't wear that. And I'm just here to tell you, just you need to make sure that you're doing your own research and make sure you're trying things out for yourself before you count some things out for the count. Because you never know what could be working even better for you, despite what a lot of guys are telling you. Even the stuff that I'm telling you, make sure you're taking it with a you know pinch of salt and just make sure that you are doing your own research and just make sure whatever you're doing, you're doing it for yourself. And last, but certainly not least, whatever it is that you are wearing, make sure that you are wearing it with confidence. If fit is king, then confidence is the God that that king worships. No matter what you have on, it could be the most high quality clothing, the most expensive and trendy brand that is out there. If you are not 100% confident behind it, then it's going to show and it's not gonna really help you out in terms of how that outfit looks. Just make sure what it is you're wearing is something that you 100% like, something that makes you feel good and that you know for a fact when you put it on, you look good. When you look good, you feel good. That is a amazing mantra that we have here for this channel and for HP Fashion as a whole. But that is it, that phrase is interchangeable. It feeds within itself. So just make sure what it is you're wearing is something that you like, that it makes you feel amazing. And I guarantee you that outfit is gonna look a hundred times better on you. And if you guys made it this far to the end of the video, thank you guys so much for sticking around. Be sure to hit that like button if you like this video and you learned something new here today. If you're not part of the HB community yet, we do talk a lot about men's fashion, grooming, hairstyle, lifestyle advice, anything that you can use to help you become a better version of yourself. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, become a part of the YouTube family. And if you guys are not following me on Instagram or on TikTok, they're both at Mr. HB Fashion. I post a lot about men's fashion, grooming inspirations on both of those platforms. You guys seem to really enjoy the content so be sure to follow me there if you don't already thank you guys so much for tuning in today i'll see you next time